Woodstock Fruit Festival. We'll see you there, August 20th, 28th, 2012. Lean tissue muscle. Muscle flex the dirty. People ask me, Harley, what's the deal with this photo? How did you go from scrawny to Arnold Schwarzenegger? So that's a common question I get, Harley. I want to stack on the muscle. What do you do about that? As an example of one, six of the last 5k races I've done, I won six in a row. I'm here on the Gold Coast Australia, so it's not like I'm in some shanty town of Thailand. Six out of six of the 5k races I've done the Gold Coast. My goal is the running and the cycling. So maybe one day down the track I'll get into the bodybuilding more, but right now it's to stay slim and focus on the running. So if you focus on running, you'll look like a runner. That's the, that's the secret. It doesn't, if you look, look all the Hollywood actors and actresses like Christian Bale or 50 Cent, what do they do? If they want to drop the, the muscle, they get into running. They get into running, man. <laughs> they cut the weights. Don't do running if you want to get bigger. <laughs> Don't do heavy weights if you want to get smaller. Does that make sense? You've got a good little book here, Vegan Fitness, Vegan Bodybuilding Fitness. Robert Cheek talks about the uh, bodybuilding on the vegan lifestyle. Now, I don't train like a bodybuilder because my goal is to get faster at running. One of my goals is to try and crack the 16 minutes for 5K and uh, crack the uh, well, my PB for marathons, 257 at the moment, and I want to get that down. So I stay away from the weights because I tend to put on the mass pretty quick if I train up the weights. I mean, if I even look at weights, I just, boom, my muscles pop right up. So I've got friends who want to put on the muscle, but they don't want to train. They're like doing little push-ups and stuff like that. Like, dude, calisthenics ain't going to build the fucking muscle. We've got to lift heavy fucking weights. As simple as that. Simple as that. Heavy fucking weights. Build your form, though. Avoid the injury. Calories, sleep, training. And weightlifting's great because you don't have to train a lot. It's just... It's just intensity, so it's not like cycling or running where you have to spend you know hours each week training. Weightlifting is there's not a lot, you know. When you think about it, you're doing eight to ten to twelve reps of bench press. You do five sets, whatever. It's not a lot, really, is it? It's a couple of minutes. So it's easy to put the muscle on training-wise, but not many people are willing to get enough calories to get the early nights. Early nights are a big one. You want muscle growth? You want to get big? Early nights, man. Muscle tissue, human growth hormone, that's the secret. If you want to get slim or bigger, that sounds sort of contradiction, doesn't it? If you want to lose the body fat, gain lean mass, lean gains, lean tissue, early nights is the key. And if you're a man, you're obviously going to grow a lot more muscle than a female. Why? Because there's a hormone called testosterone. Women don't produce enough to get big. That's why women who want to get as big and strong as men have to do the testosterone injections, testosterone patches, which I don't recommend. So what I'm saying is that men, if you go to bed early, you're going to put on more muscle if you're training that way. Women, if you go to bed early, you're going to get leaner, you're going to get slimmer. And it's just healthy to go to bed early. So that's the secret to go from scrawny to strong. Strong man! You've got to get the early nights, get the calories, and get the training in. Train with guys who are better than you, can show you good form, good technique. Don't snap your spine though. Don't get yourself an injury. Train smarter versus harder. Build up slowly, have a five year goal instead of some 30-day P90X fad scam thingy whatever burnout program where they use, you know, touch-up models on steroids or whatever to, you know, sell something. So avoid that. Train smarter versus harder. Sleep, water, sugar. Get the early nights. And get a program like this. I highly recommend Robert Cheek's book. Why? Because it's got some good programs in there for training. And Rob's just a nice guy, so he's got some different dietary recommendations that I'd recommend, but... Do both and see what you feel best on. Just do the training. Get the calories. Get the fucking sleep. Crank it. And post your comments and questions down below. Peace. Thanks for watching.